archetype like fixed assets or TP&L or depreciable assets or something like that. So this is going to be then equal to the furniture and equipment and then the accumulated depreciation. Now note that if you don't have account numbers in software, funny things could happen and that these two might be, might be under the category of property and plant and equipment or fixed assets and then be in alphabetical order put in the accumulation, accumulated depreciation first, furniture and equipment second. That's not, that's ugly. That shouldn't happen because it should be the other way around. It shouldn't go that way. It shouldn't go that way. That's not how things should be. But that's kind of the limitation if you don't have the account numbers. You can fix that with basically account numbers in software. Obviously, when we construct our statements, we can kind of fix that as we construct it. Also realize that if you're kind of mirroring what has been constructed from an accounting standpoint and you're doing like year-end adjustments or something like that and you're trying to trying to format your trial balance to what is in the in the system you probably want to list your information not on the financial statements but when you enter their information into a trial balance in the same funny order you're going to look at it and say that's ugly i don't want to enter it like backwards or whatever if this was on top or something but you want to start with that as your starting point because when you try to adjust their books again try to tell them to make adjustments that's the order they're going to see things so in other words if you're going to adjust your trial balance i probably should have put this one on top because that's how it's going to show up in the quickbooks software that's generally how you want to do it. you don't want to adjust their ledgers in your worksheet you know until you actually make the adjusting entries you know to it because you'd like to give it back to them in the same order <laughs> that they have okay so in any case we're going to then let's make this one a little bit larger here again like make that larger again and then we'll bring this into the inner column this is going to be equal to this one, the furniture and equipment and the cube deem, ACC pre, And then this is just going to be the total property plant and equipment tab. Outer column equals the sum of those two numbers. Underlining this number by going to the font group and underline. Doing some indentation selecting these items by going to the home tab alignment indent those por favor and then we'll indent this one again alignment and indent once again and then we're going to have down here in the total this will be the total assets which we're just going to sum up the outer column now just summing up the outer column because now we got our subcategories of the current and the property plants and equipment so i'll just say equals the sum the most popular function ever for good reason too it should be the most popular it's not just a fluke so we're going to say we'll have those two and then let's make this one a skinny let's make that one a skinny column and then over here we're going to have the liabilities and the equity on the other side so we're going to say 